Hi, my name is Greg Hansen, Director of Marketing for 8-Bit Microcontrollers at Silicon Labs. Today I'll be talking about the C8051 F850 Centerless Brushless DC Motor Control Reference Design. To introduce the BLDC Motor Control Reference Design, the design is a fully featured BLDC motor control solution. It demonstrates the C8051 F850 and 860 motor control of Centerless BLDC motors. It incorporates motor driving power electronics with onboard MOSFETs. It includes a motor control GUI, which allows real-time motor control and data streaming, and it contains everything needed to spin a motor in less than five minutes. Some of the reference design benefits include highlighting the motor control features of the C8051, F850, and 860 MCU family, including the onboard 12-bit ADC, dual comparators, high-speed PWM output, intelligent comparator operation, and flexible crossbar architecture. It includes production-ready source code that expedites design end time, and it provides a competitive, cost-effective solution. Some of the target applications for the motor control reference design include small motors, such as remote control helicopters and toy cars, electronic speed controllers, PC fans, electric fans, lifts, electric tools, such as cutters, shears, lawnmowers, staplers, and small appliances, such as mixers and grinders, electric shavers and toothbrushes, vacuum cleaners, condensers, and evaporator pumps, the motor control reference design hardware includes three pieces. The MCU control board, a powertrain board, and a Turnergy 450 series brushless outrunner mounted on a motor mount board. The powertrain board consists of gate drivers, power MOSFETs, current sensing resistor, as well as resistor dividers to attenuate motor phase voltages so that they can be measured by the MCU. The MCU board contains the C8051 F850 MCU, buttons to start and stop and change direction, as well as a button to reset the MCU. The PWM output of the MCU is used to drive the gate drivers on the powertrain board. The MCU board also contains an op amp to amplify the current sensing voltage so that it can be measured by the MCU. Next I'll review the three parts of the motor control reference design block diagram. First, the MCU board consists of the following. The C8051 F850, the motor start, stop, clockwise, anti-clockwise direction and MCU reset button one rotary variable resistance potentiometer to control speed, an op amp to amplify the bias and current sense voltages, and the USB hub to support the C2 USB debug interface and the CP2103 USB UART bridge. The powertrain board contains six power MOSFETs for the inverter circuit, three Silicon Labs SI8230 dual isolated gate drivers, a 50 milliohm current sensing resistor rated at 10 watts, and resistor dividers generate motor voltage, motor phase voltages, and some of motor phase voltages. And finally, the motor control reference design contains a Turnergy 450 series 3800 kV brushless outrunner motor mounted on a motor mount board. A strong value proposition of the sensorless brushless DC motor control reference design is the supporting environment from tools, development kits, software libraries, and collateral. The motor control reference design software allows real-time control and monitoring of the motor. Silicon Labs offers differentiation in motor control source code available which expedites design in, and a motor control GUI PC application called Silicon Labs Spinner, which offers users flexibility and ease of use when controlling and understanding the BLDC motor operation. Some of the motor control reference design and motor key specifications are given in the tables on the slide. The power supply is rated up to 24 volts, and the PWM driver frequency is rated at 24 kilohertz. The continuous average output current is rated at 10 amps. For a two-pole motor, the maximum RPM is rated at 200,000 RPM, and for a six-pole motor, such as the one in the reference design, the maximum speed is rated at 66,000 RPM. The Turnergy 450 series motor is a six-pole uh, motor, its maximum voltage of operation is 14.8 volts, and maximum output current and power is 35 amps and 365 watts, respectively. The maximum speed at 12 volts is rated at 45,000 RPM. Five advantages of the C8051, F850, and 860 MCU for motor control are the following. Uh, first, it's possible to achieve 200,000 RPM with a Silicon Labs low-cost MCU product family. Second, 
The C8051, F850, and 860 MC architecture features a patented crossbar that enables developers to choose peripherals and pinout placement based on their application needs and layout constraints without worrying about the preset limitations and pin conflicts. Third, the design kit implements a technique that takes advantage of some unique features of the C8051 F850. The open terminal does not yield any zero crossing information when current flows through that terminal, so a tracking signal is used to disable the comparator input so that the comparator is effectively not operational when current is flowing in the open terminal. This reduces CPU overhead since there's no need to interrupt PWM cycle for zero crossing detection. Fourth, the design kit uses a comparator clear feature to trim the motor PWM duty cycle automatically to ensure that the current does not exceed the predetermined level regardless of motor load or motor supply voltage. And fifth, with the block commutation driving method, the maximum speed is achieved when the motor PWM duty cycle is at 100%. Mm -hmm. Hyperdrive mode is a technique to further increase the maximum speed. This is done by energizing the open phase after zero crossing has been detected. Next I'll discuss the C8051, F850, and 860 motor control enhancements. First, the MCU family has a true 12-bit ADC. The ADC is programmable for 200 kilo sample per second, 12-bit resolution, or 800 kilo sample per second, 10-bit resolution. The ADC supports up to 16 channels with 0.5 or 1x gain and has window compare and temperature sensor options. Second, there's an onboard internal precision voltage reference. The voltage reference output is 1.65 volts with plus or minus 2% absolute accuracy. Third, there are two onboard analog comparators. The comparators are programmable with hysteresis and response time with a high speed setting at 100 nanoseconds and the low power setting at 1.5 microseconds. Continuing with the C8051, F850, and 860 motor control enhancements. Fourth, the motor control multiplexer. This offers a flexible comparator multiplexer to support sensorless BEMF commutation. It's a general MUX structure that supports multiple input pins, and each pin can be routed to either the plus or minus input of the comparator. The comparator inputs are all multiplexed with the ADC, and this reduces the number of pins needed to perform sensorless BEMF commutation. Fifth, PWM with hardware fault protection. The PWM is a 3-channel, 8-11-bit, to 11 -bit, or 16-bit PWM. It offers cycle-by-cycle -cycle current control, output polarity select control, and center and edge alignment for the PWM. Detecting the back EMF zero crossing point can be challenging when there is an active PWM signal that interferes with the BEMF signal. Some designs implement a low-pass filter for terminal signals in the virtual neutral. However, a low-pass filter is not suitable for motors when high commutation frequencies are required because of the phase shift caused by the filter. This reference design implements a technique that takes advantage of some unique features of the C8051 F850 MCU. The open terminal does not yield any zero crossing information when current flows through that terminal, so a tracking signal is used to disable a comparator input so that the comparator is effectively not operational when current is flowing in the terminal. The zero crossing point cannot be detected reliably when current is flowing in the open terminal because the voltages are dominated by the forward bias voltage of the body diode of the power MOSFETs. Thus, a tracking signal is used to enable the comparator for use at appropriate times during the PWM cycle. When the motor PWM duty cycle is low, the inactive period is much longer than the active period, and the tracking signal is set up to synchronize with the motor PWM signal to observe the back EMF only at the tail end of the inactive part of the PWM cycle as shown in the top figure. When the motor PWM duty cycle is high, the tracking signal is set up to observe the back EMF at the tail end of the inactive part of of the PWM cycle and the entire active part of the PWM cycle as shown in the lower figure. In the typical BLDC motor sensorless starting phase, the motor is driven like a stepper motor. The motor is initially commutated very slowly and then velocity is increased while the PWM duty cycle is increased to boost the applied motor voltage in an attempt to keep the current constant. However, it's not easy to predetermine PWM duty cycle for constant current level because the motor load may change or the motor supply voltage fluctuates. The design kit uses the comparator clear feature to trim the motor PWM cycle automatically to ensure that the current does not exceed a predetermined level regardless of the motor load or motor supply voltage. Using the comparator clear mechanism, the PWM signal is automatically shut off for that cycle when the current sensing voltage exceeds 1.8 volts. 
The firmware programs the MCU to generate 50% duty cycle PWM signal for motor startup and lets the comparator clear function trim the duty cycle to limit the peak current. In the block commutation driving method, maximum speed is achieved when the motor PWM cycle is at 100%. Hyperdrive mode is a technique to further increase this maximum speed. In the typical block commutation, there is zero current through one motor terminal at any one time because the phase is open for zero cross detection. If the open terminal can be energized, there will be increased electrical torque generated to further increase the speed of the motor, but the open terminal is required for zero cross detection. However, the open phase is free to be energized after the zero cross detection has been completed. This technique is the most beneficial for motor designs at which the motor current saturates well before the next commutation event. The strong value proposition of the sensorless brushless DC motor control reference design is the supporting environment from tools, development kits, software libraries, and collateral. The motor control reference design contains everything needed to get the motor spinning in under five minutes. Silicon Labs offers differentiation in the low cost reference design for evaluation purposes, motor control reference source code available which expedites design in, motor control GUI PC application called Silicon Labs Spinner, which offers users flexibility and ease of use when controlling and understanding the BLDC motor operation, and collateral including application notes and knowledge base articles. Get your BLDC motor control design up and spinning. The sensorless BLDC motor control reference design is a ready-to-use motor control solution with production quality hardware and software for quick evaluation and deployment in cost-sensitive applications. The reference design is a vehicle for developers to evaluate and adopt low-cost BLDC motor control solutions using the recently launched C8051, F850, and 860 product families. Thank you very much for your time. For additional information, please visit our website at scilabs.com slash MCU.